فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير سلمان الفارسي who happened to be paired with Abu Darda radiallahu an he notices that Abu Darda radiallahu an he his wife was not keen at all in anything no dressing up no you know she was not even bothered to be speaking to him uh, in in a certain way and also so so he asks her what's the problem what's the matter you know this husband wife uh, relationship there's something and this teaches us that when we notice within our friends something of this nature w within the limits of the sharia we should get involved in order to solve the matter it's an act of worship to say, my sister, don't do this. And please don't give advice. You know, I remember there was a lawyer once. Uh, a friend of mine went to him and said, you know, I need you to represent me because of this. Uh, they're accusing me of this crime and we need to go to the court. And the lawyer says, just plead guilty. It's easier than for me to come. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? He says, just plead guilty. But what do you mean? No, it's just a $20 fine anyway, or whatever it was. And you know, if you're going to... He says, what are you talking about? I'm asking you to represent me because I'm innocent. So the moral of it is sometimes people just tell a woman that, you know what, just get a divorce, it's over. That advice is wrong. If that was the starting point, it's wrong. Yes, if there was something serious that happened and someone beat you up and someone, you know, you were black and blue and you came, then we would tell you, come, let's go away. No man should be beating a woman. Not at all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. But I have to say, no woman should be beating a man. <laughs> Because I'm a marriage counselor and I, I, I do know. I'm a marriage counselor and I've come across a lot of cases of late where the guy comes beaten up. <laughs> and he's too embarrassed to admit that, you know what, I've been beaten up by my spouse. So it goes both ways. This is not allowed and that's not allowed as well. But the, the point I'm raising is if someone gives you advice to say, just break your marriage, that, that's not an act of worship. If that was a starting point, you just said, ah, break your marriage, break your marriage. You're breaking everybody's marriage. Work on it. Everyone goes through some form of turbulence. Marriage will have to struggle with a little bit of turbulence. And your test is to see the durability, how long or how much you will be able to do. Because I know of people who've struggled for five years, seven years. And after that, house on fire. Wow. So much that the house was burnt down. MashaAllah. May Allah grant us goodness in our homes. Remember, if you sacrifice, you're ready to sacrifice, you will definitely be able to achieve. So Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, he, 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 he was asked by Salman al-Farisi radiallahu anhu, he says, in fact, as Salman al-Farisi notices that at night, this man gets up in prayer and he's praying all night. So he says, you know what? Stop. Go back to sleep. He was offended. He says, you're stopping me from praying. I'm going back to sleep. You're telling me to go back to sleep. He says, yes, go to bed. I'm telling you, go to bed. So he went to bed. A little while later, he notices Salman is gone. He gets up and he wants to pray again. Salman was watching. He says, go back, go to bed. And this happened a few times. And then when there was a last portion of the night remaining, Salman gets him up and says, hey, you can now come and pray. So he was praying. And then Salman says, you know what? I just want to teach you something. Your wife has a right over you. Your body has a right over you. Your organs have a right over you. Your family has a right over you. So you need to fulfill every right. Don't just be lopsided, one-sided. You just do one thing and you ignore the rest of the rights. So he said, okay. And in the early morning, he, early morning, Abu Darda goes to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and relates the story and says, you know, Salman stopped me from praying. He told me to go back to bed. And he did this. And he did that. And, and at the end, he told me the story. The Prophet says, Sadaqa Salman. Salman spoke the truth. Done. From that we learn. Now do you know the story of Salman? Put up your hand. <laughs> so from this we learn that you know you need to fulfill the rights of every it's an act of worship to go to bed with the right person. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> it's an act of worship. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said it clearly that more clearly than I just said it now. He says, Fi ahadikum sadaqa. You know, he says it's it's a rewardable deed if you were to go to bed to be intimate with your spouse. So the Sahaba were, they questioned him. They said, Ya Rasulullah, you mean, you know the wording that's used, I can't even use it in the English language, okay? He says, you mean, you know, we're intimate with our spouses and we get a reward for it? He says, okay, if you were to place, if you were to, for example, be intimate with the, with the wrong person, would you get, uh, or would such a person get a sin? They said, yes. So he said, so if you were to do it with the right person, you would be rewarded. Similar. Amazing. Amazing. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and may he open our doors.